So right now we are joining, who will be joining us via Zoom, we have Titi Louis Charles. He is the former Attorney General of Undo State and a human rights lawyer. And he's joining us live from Akure. Thank you so much for joining us at this time, sir. Good evening. Yes, good evening good to, to you too. Here. So going straight to the questions. Uh, scenes of minors fainting while in court over the involvement in uh, the widespread hashtag end bad governance protest has, you know, sparked controversies over detention conditions and police violence. So are there specific provisions for ensuring minors' well-being while in custody? And are there any policies or protocols in place to ensure minors' rights are protected during detention? Yes, uh, under Nigerian law, minor uh, persons that are below 18 years. However, the criminal code allowed trial of persons who are 12 years and above. So obviously that somebody is a minor does not mean he cannot face criminal uh, trial. Once he's above 12 years, under the criminal code act, he can face trial. And also, under the same criminal code, between the age of 7 to 12, once a prosecutor is able to establish that the minor know what he's doing, he can also be held culpable of an offense. So there is no other fast rule in Nigeria that once somebody is a minor, they cannot face criminal trial. And on the issue of a uh, custody, during trial of uh, minors, uh, some, some uh, jury, jurisdiction in Nigeria have remand homes where they keep them so that they keep them away from adults. They don't mingle with adults so that if at the end of the day they are not found guilty of the offense, they, mon they might not have been corrupted by some uh, adults. Well, some may be uh, uh, very, very. Uh, notorious uh, criminal. So they keep them in remand home. Uh, and it's a safeguard to ensure that uh, uh, minor are not exposed to adding criminal and they are given opportunity to be properly reformed while in a court study. So there is adequate uh, protection for minors who are facing criminal uh, prosecution uh, in Nigeria. And the fact that somebody is a minor does not uh, it is only somebody that is below seven years in Nigeria that cannot face criminal trial. Uh, such a person under the criminal laws of, of, of Nigeria is totally incapable of being held responsible for any criminal offense. That is below seven years. Well, it is between seven to 12, if the prosecutor is able to establish that he knows what he's doing, Supreme Court has heard he can uh, be convicted. And if he's above 12 years, it can uh, uh, be held uh, criminally responsible. So obviously, there is no other than fast food that somebody will become a criminal, I mean, a, I mean a minor, and he'll be doing all manner of atrocity, and he will not be able to be brought uh, to book in Nigeria. Uh, that is it's not an excuse. It is once, and those we are seen on camera, there is nobody we are seen on camera from what uh, we have seen from that video clip that is below seven years. All right. So, in your opinion, would you say uh, the bail amount of ten million naira each is excessive, considering the uh, the minor's age and the health conditions? And of course, looking at what we saw um, at the court yesterday, with you know the fainting and them looking so malnourished, do you feel the ten million naira uh, is excessive? Ten million naira bail. I beg your pardon. Bail is at the discretion of the court. Now, when a court grants you bail for a fixed sum of money, it is not as if that money will pay to court. It is for you to produce a shorty who can uh, pay such amount of, of money to the court in case you cannot be found. It is not as if the shorty is going to pay the money. It is to have such person who have such standing to be able to pay such a money. And, and simply, when they depose an affidavit of this, that they can pay the 12 million naira, the court will release them to such a person. 
Uh, Bradley Street Jan Bell would have included provision of certificate of occupancy, uh, provision of grade level, so, so, so officer. Those are very stringent that may be very difficult to perfect. But to say 10 million error is just an affidavit of means that the shorty need to depose to. So it's not stringent, it's not excessive. Uh, it's to make sure that credible people, person who can be held responsible, stand shorty for those uh, uh, minor. Uh, it's not as if they are paying the 10 million era to the to the court custody. I think that is the uh, misconception the public might have in respect of a uh, social uh, the such bill uh, condition. All right. So thank you so much for being a part of the news. We really appreciate it. It's a pleasure coming on here. Yeah? All right, and that is T.T. Uh, lawyer Charles, the former attorney general of Undo State and a human rights lawyer.